Hi friends, I'm Prairie Vintage. My name's Linda. I'm an energy intuitive reader here on YouTube and I use spirit, my intuition, and the tarot to communicate energies to you guys, amazing viewers. If you're new to this channel, welcome. I am so glad and so thrilled that you found your way to me. And if you're returning, I am so blessed to be doing your reading again. Um, all of you guys are very safe and welcome in this space with me today. I sure hope that these messages resonate for you. Today's reading, we're looking at you and the person on your mind and how you guys are thinking, feeling, and what are your intentions in this connection between you and the person on your mind. So we have four options to choose from today and um, we'll be using two decks. So you do see four piles with two decks to each pile. And one deck will represent your energy. The other deck will represent your person's energy. The side in which you fall could be crisscrossed, depending on whichever side you feel more comfortable representing your energy. And the opposite side will be your person side. So we'll be doing like a you versus your person. One person on the left, one person on the right. And um, if you resonate with one of the sides being your energy, then that is your pile. All right, so four options, like I mentioned. Option one, we have the Before Tarot and the Surrealist Tarot. Option number two, we have the Light Seers Tarot and the Botticelli Tarot. Option number three, we have Dancing in the Dark Tarot and the After Tarot. And option number four, we have the Salvador Dali and the Dante Tarot. So sit with this energy take your time the options will be um, broken out in the description box and in the pinned comment below it will take you directly to your timestamp for your pick and we will get into your reading so I will see you guys at your pick Hello, hello, beautiful, gorgeous pile number one. You guys pick the Before Tarot and the Surrealist Tarot as your pick. And we'll be using one deck for your energy and one deck for your person's energy. Now, whichever side you fall on uh, could be left or right. That is certainly up to you. And um, I will leave that with you. But if you don't resonate with either side, then this most likely is not your pile. Okay, so you could be on left or right. Um, like I said, that's up to you. But we'll start with the left side using the before tarot. And we'll look at you and your person, you versus your person in regards to thoughts, feelings, and intentions. Okay, and the energy between you guys and see what we see. This is um, a timeless reading, meaning whenever you come across this reading, the energy is um, relevant for that time frame. Okay, now this is a right here, right now message. So things could shift, you know, five minutes from now, ten minutes from now. But we are looking at the exact energy as it sits right here, right now between you and this person. And I'm asking Spirit for a clear and concise message in regards to pile one and their person. Can we look at the first person here and their feelings? I will call this person A for the sake of simplicity here. We'll look at thoughts, feelings, and intentions. Let's look at person A's thoughts. We'll start with person A's thoughts, spirit, clear and concise message for the greatest and highest good for pile one and their person person that came here about what is pile one person a's thoughts right here right now clear and concise message for the greatest and highest good of pile number one please protect me and the viewer as i channel this message for the greatest and highest good of pile one thank you so much spirit i'm so blessed for this message and thank you so much pile one for allowing me to tap into your energy and the energy around you at this time i'm so blessed need to clear the energy. I'll use this deck in a minute. Thank you. So we're looking at thoughts. I do feel one more. Yes. Okay. 
I'm reading them as they come out. So for thoughts, we have seven pentacles. We have the page of pentacles in reverse. We have the world and we had a card that I just flipped over. Six of wands in reverse. Okay. Thoughts for pile eight. Let me, you know what? Screw the YouTube over overlords. If they don't like this, then that's on them. Okay. So give me a minute. Oh, okay. I, I'm always so tempted to say whether it's your energy or your person's, and I got to learn that you can decide that part of it. But I do feel this is your energy, okay? But this person, person A for pile one, I feel like this person feels very discouraged, okay? Very discouraged. They've been potentially at this connection for quite some time, although we are using the before tarot. I feel like this is reflective of an after energy that I'm feeling here of someone who just feels uh, very exhausted and potentially has been trying. I feel like trying to um, make something happen here in this connection, but I, I feel like this is something that never really got off the ground. It never really formed into anything and I feel like this energy that I'm picking up for person A is one that um, they're just about done with um, investing any more time and energy into something that is going nowhere, that isn't showing up as a, a viable potential here for them. They feel like this connection didn't work out. There is um, just an energy here of giving up I feel and then putting this whole thing behind them feeling like there wasn't success here and what they're thinking about is um their thoughts are I wish things turned out better I wish we could come together I wish that we could start you know a, a beautiful connection here but nothing really happened it didn't happen and no matter how much time and energy effort i put into this thing it never really went anywhere and so the only way that i would be available here to invest in this connection would be to um if this person comes forward and is willing to have a balanced give and take here then we can start but I'm not interested in where it's at and what has happened. Um, so I feel like this person is done with um, where this connection's at. And the only thing this person wants is to come together. And other than that, they're going to be putting this connection behind them. And so they're thinking about how it couldn't come together and how frustrated that they are in um, the energy that they've spent. So... Like I said, that certainly could be your energy here, but um, I feel like this person might have taken a confidence blow here to their ego um, because I feel like this person does feel like this was one-sided. They feel, um, well, we're looking at thoughts, but what they're thinking is how, how much energy and effort they put into something and still feel as though they got rejected here or not. They didn't get uh, what they wanted. When they wanted a coming together so we're looking at person b's thoughts okay person b for pile one we have the seven of cups in reverse spirit for pile one the other person here what are their thoughts for pile one what is pile one's person b's thoughts here clear and concise message we have seven of cups reverse we have ten of cups many spirits let's shuffle these how one person these thoughts spirit clear and concise message for the greatest and highest good of this connection and pile one the sun 
Leo energy. I do feel one more as well. What are this person's thoughts? Magician in reverse. Okay. Let's just slide that over slightly. So, what is this person thinking? This person is potentially the reason why things couldn't really work out. Um, in their mind, they're thinking that um, their inability to choose here to prioritize this connection or to um, make a clear decision here in regards to this connection and fulfill its potential in some way has been something that they weren't able to do because this person does think that they've been potentially sort of self-focused and potentially I want to say that they've been, yeah, more focused on other things here other than prioritizing this connection. And there's an understanding about this. There's also with the Ten Cups and the Sun, like an understanding at how much fulfillment and joy this connection would, would bring to this person. If they were able to prioritize, if they were able to choose, if they weren't in a state of confusion here or just not being able to choose proper and then make the right decisions here so because they see this connection as a full wish fulfillment that both of you guys could be happy together there was a selfishness here that this person is seeing within themselves identifying that they were more focused on i feel like control is kind of what's coming through here you know so keeping the back door open as a form of control so either their independence and hanging on to that or not committing in some way here to making a decision was a form of control to get what they want which was something else and i don't know what this is something else was but i feel like there's a seeing this but there's also an understanding that this content this um, connection would be wish fulfillment and full potential here for happiness for both of you guys. I feel like this person also feels as though um, potentially they've missed the boat or that something's done here. Yeah, like that something's done, their chance might be over, that they had a chance to choose and that they waited too long and it might be too too late to turn back or to choose. And it's interesting, this Ten of Cups is giving me a lot of like Seven of Cups energy. So I'm getting that this person thinks like... That choosing this connection would still be something that... Um, I don't know, would leave them in a state almost of them still be not being able to fully manifest something here. Or like fully commit or have like some sort of... I'm going to have to sort of pull a little bit more here on this thought because it's not 100% clear, but I am getting seven of cups still from those ten cups. Spirit, can I get a clarifier here for... Pile one person B's thoughts here with this seven of cups reverse and this ten of cups. What is pile one person B's thoughts here? The wheel of fortune in reverse. Yeah, it's like this person feels. Like even if they wanted to choose this connection there's something here that wouldn't be able to move forward and I, I feel like it's this person's way of being like there's something that they're not seeing within themselves here potentially like how to be successful at making something happen that things would come to an end eventually or that they still wouldn't be able to be in the right energy here to have a full 
balanced give and take. I feel like there would still be a lot of confusion as far as this person's concerned because of their inability to provide balance. I feel like this person, there's something about them that they feel either selfish or they need control or there's um, an inability for them to show up in a balanced way. Things would eventually not work out is how this person is thinking. And so it's almost like um, this person, I'm almost hearing like even damned if they do, damned if they don't, like even if they did choose here, the state would still be the same and their actions would kind of still be the same. And things would still eventually just not work out. But they see this happiness here with the, like I said, the Ten of Cups and the Sun. But that no matter how happy this person is, there would be a point in which this connection couldn't progress because of this person's inability to show up and create more here. So there's something that they want to be able to control in their own life, but I'm also feeling like there could be a lack of confidence in this person's ability to do what they need to do here. Mm hmm Okay. So the story might come more clear as we look at feelings and intentions, but let's look at um, how one person A's feelings then. How is pile one person A feeling in this connection right here, right now? What are their feelings? We have the five of pentacles, stands to reason. So feeling left out in the cold of a situation in which they felt they were very loyal to. Like they've been shut out. How is pile one person A's person A feeling? How one person A, how are they feeling in this connection right here, right now, spirit? Devil. So like this, this connection was something that could have been very unhealthy for them, but they were feeling very stuck to it. And they might still be feeling very stuck to this connection, but knowing it's not very healthy for them to stay. But I do feel like their thoughts is how do I close out this cycle. So they, I, I do feel this person really wants to um, come together if they had a first choice, but I also feel like this person wants to close this chapter of this connection, but I don't feel this person understands how, or they haven't been successful in doing this because I feel this person feels stuck. Feels stuck to this connection. Stuck to person B here, Knight of Swords and the queen of pentacles so we have capricorn and more capricorn virgo taurus energy here so i i feel like this person feels um They feel like because they feel left out in the cold, because they feel very stuck here, they're wanting to fight for release of this devil of whatever's unhealthy. So if that means breaking out of this connection, then that's what this person is wanting to do. Although I do feel like this person still feels like there could be a potential here in this connection that's untapped. But this person would need to heal from this. You know, but I, I feel like this person understands their worth and I feel like this person also understands and feels like they're capable of managing on their own without this connection, but they're not sure why they're sort of mesmerized, hypnotized or pulled or obsessed or stuck here. It's frustrating for this person, I feel. And so I feel like they want to fight for their life back is kind of what it seems like their freedom to release them from this connection because this connection seems like it could provide something, but it's so um, 
it hasn't even provided it. It's just sort of at a seed level here. And it would need a lot of healing. And so although I feel this person it keeps coming through is sort of mesmerized here by this connection and the potential and what could be the feeling here is um, one I don't think this person wants to be in anymore. You know, I, I feel like this person feels almost like taunted by this connection. What could be is kind of taunting them in front of them some way. And so I feel like it's been a distraction for this person to keep sort of thinking about what this could be just kind of one step ahead of them. And so this person could be very much um, in an energy here of speaking their truth and trying to fight to free themselves from a connection here that doesn't seem to be producing anything at all for quite some time. This person feels like they would be very capable here of having, being secure and having um, the ability to fulfill something here, but they can't do it one-sided here. And so I feel like this person is not going to move from where they're at. And they're no longer wanting to repeat anything here cycle-wise or retry if they have tried they're kind of here looking you know and, and they could certainly be very defensive here but it's wanting to stand their ground to attain what they feel would be a balance give and take and a coming together but anything other than that I don't feel this person wants and I don't feel this person energetically feels like um this connection is healthy for them because it's made them feel very stuck or trapped to this connection. That's how they're feeling. Okay, so now let's look at pile one, person B, and how this person is feeling. How is pile one, person B, feeling right here, right now in this connection spirit? What are their feelings for the other person here? And this connection, what are their feelings? So I'll take the one that's flipped over. We have nine cups. So anytime I see magician in reverse and nine cups, I get somebody who's been very selfish. Because nine cups is all about the self-gratification. A magician in reverse could be a manipulative sort of energy here. Trying to attain what they want. And we have eight wands in reverse. This is kind of giving me this wheel of fortune in reverse. Things kind of at a halt. How is pile one person be feeling? Seven swords in reverse. And temperance. Sagittarius energy. And I'm tempted to see the bottom ace of pentacles. Okay. So... Interesting. I feel like um, the way energy sometimes works is when one depolarizes the other, it sort of flips. And maybe this person, person B, was um, in one sort of energy here that's caused sort of a breakdown in this connection. And I feel like things certainly could be turning. Because I feel like person B is feeling like they need to um, do things differently here. That they have been all about self, self-focused, uh, selfish, mm, potentially not being completely upfront in regards to their own sort of intention in this connection. And definitely not showing up in an energy that's been workable and they understand this and it's caused things to really not move at all. And so their selfish energy here is something that they're recognizing could not produce a connection. And so I do feel this person wants there to be a beginning here of something in this connection. Like there to actually be <clears throat> a start of something different. 
that could produce into something more because I do feel again that this person feels like this connection could make them emotionally happy but I do feel <clears throat> oh my throat chakra is getting very tight here so this person probably has not yet communicated a truth or come clean about their own intention and their action here and I think that they've been hurtful here and they understand this but they still have not made it right and so I feel like this person is wanting to heal this in this connection by turning things around here in a different direction but like I said with the sun the ten of cups and the nine of cups it's like this person understands there's like emotional happiness like they see fulfillment here for both of you guys And I do feel like this person's self-focus is something that they want to sort of put an end to just their own soul, soul, soul for, I don't know, I'm having a hard time speaking. Their own satisfaction and a soul focus on self is something that this person realizes is something they'd have to turn around and they'd have to get out of in order to show up balanced, in order to be workable, in order to allow things to manifest and to heal they'd have to come forward differently and so there's a feeling here of i want to be better and i want to show up different and i want to come clean and i want to be emotionally fulfilled here and i have to stop being self-focused and be more of a team player here or things have not progressed and they most likely will, will not progress And so there's a feeling now coming through of um, even though I feel like things might be over here and I missed my opportunity, I could still potentially have a new beginning here. I'm seeing the fried egg here. And it's almost like it's been, you know, it's, it's, it's fried, so it's done. Like they fried this connection in some way. So it was done. But despite this, I want to still be able to have a new beginning here with this history of this fried connection. And it's fried because of my action or my lack of choosing this connection is, I don't know, like overcooked this connection in some way. But even with this experience and this history, I still want a new beginning and to create something here. And to have movement, I see a little ship here in this egg. The ship's all about movement. Because I do feel like this person is sensing the stuckness here with the Wheel of Fortune and this Eight to Wands in reverse. So I feel like this person's feeling like they want to move towards pa person A. I do feel like this person wants to move towards person A with... Um, more of a workable, balanced energy and come clean with anything here that's been making them seem selfish and that's um, caused this connection to be overcooked. Okay, that's how they're feeling. So let's take a look at intentions then. <clears throat> intentions for pile one, person A. What is the intentions here so we have the four of pentacles spirit for pile one person a what are their intentions in this connection pile one person a's intentions in this connection what are their intentions four swords and i'll have four pentacles four swords hopefully you guys can see this I'll move that up i don't know Sometimes I get channeling from the imagery that comes through, so I don't want to cover it too much. But I do want you guys to see. Okay. Pile one, person A's intentions. So two fours. Four is all about structure, foundation, stability, planning. Eight wands in reverse. We have eight wands showing up in pile 
or person B's energy. And finally, one more card here, person A's intentions. Ten cups, wowzers. Look at that, ten cups. It's raining. Okay. There's something very fixed about this person now. I feel like ooh, whatever they've experienced here has made them uh, sort of almost feel unbudgeable and it's certainly defensive, like I said, standing their ground. So I feel like this person's unbudgeable because I feel like they understand what it is they want. And we were seeing that Ace of Pentacles here in the bottom of the deck. And I feel like person A wants that Ace of Pentacles that hasn't come. It's like the formal offering of this connection, the practical start of this connection that's never really come, that's been sort of looming, hovering, but never really has made its way to uh, person A. And so they're very firm in their position here. And the only way to get there is to be able to work together here and to come together. And so I feel like this person is reflecting, is healing, and is also not making an effort here to put any more energy in something that is stalled out. And so their intention is, I'm going to heal from this. I'm going to continue to embrace the truth here. And I'm going to continue to remain fixed in my position. And so I feel like this person understands there could be a full potential of 10 cups here if person B could get there, you know, could offer something practical. There could be emotional fulfillment, but even now it seems like something that isn't worth any more energy or effort in something here that isn't as appealing as it might have been at one point because it's been very stuck and painful. And so this person's experienced, you know, a three swords here because of their disappointment. And so I feel like this person is really focused on transforming themselves from whatever state that uh, they've been in here because it's resulted in disappointment and non-movement. So I do feel like this person wants to get out of um, existing energy. That's their intention. Even if there is like a 10 cups potential, they don't want to remain thinking, wishful thinking about this or hanging on to something that isn't producing. But I do feel there's this like firm energy of being very fixed in where they are and their position right now until they're capable of completely detaching and moving on and away from this. But I feel like there's um, healing that needs to be done and reflecting this person feels they still need to do and it's almost like they're sitting here saying, okay, well, I'm going to see if person B can step forward with this offer here, but I'm not going to step towards them. I'm not going to do anything here to um, convince or try to make person B offer me this. And unless it's coming, because this is something that I know I'm worthy of here, then yeah, there's nothing really I can do. Just kind of how this person feels. Like they've hit their wall. Okay, this is the fried egg that person B here was sensing. So, interesting. Let's take a look at person B's um, <clears throat> intention. So we have King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. How is person b what are their intentions for pile one person b what are their intentions thank you spirits what are this person's intentions in this connection and towards person a in this connection strength leo energy
Empress in Reverse, Taurus Energy, Divine Feminine Energy. What are Pile 1 Person's B's intentions here? Eight of Cups. I do feel one more. The Lovers. Wow. Okay. Gemini Energy and bottom of the deck, Page of Swords. Okay. I still feel like this person, person B, might still have things to learn here, you know, because I feel like um, there is an energy coming through of because this person is pulled away or not engaged in the same way that this person feels they need to come forward. So I feel like this person is going to come forward with the communication here. You know, and I think this person has been held back and trying to bide time in some way to see if pile one person a person would come forward in some way but i feel like if person a does not come forward and is fixed as fixed as they do seem here then person b has no choice here they feel but to communicate and to come forward to offer pile one um this is sort of a um a communication of uh, how they feel but I feel like um, I still feel like this person is not coming forward f fully with the pentacle that they know that pile one would need like an actual practical offer I feel like this person might communicate how they feel They might take a step forward. I, I feel like this person most likely wants to just sort of attain person one as someone here that they had at one point in time on them. And so knowing that it's a, an option for them to come forward, to woo maybe pile or person A into choosing them again. But I feel like... Um, there's an inability here for this person to um, heal something that's still not healed here. And it's how they can give and receive love. And so I feel like this person is, still has some sort of a heavy ego here about them. And so I feel like this person is most likely going to take a tiny step here despite their big ego in coming forward which already is something that is um i don't know like going against their ego i guess to step forward to say hey pile one person a like i, I have feelings here i want to talk about this connection and this option but it's like they want to talk about it but their inability to choose it and their inability to offer anything more here is still unresolved i feel but it's like them wanting to um pursue person a here sort of as a um as attaining them something with their confidence here to to attain their confidence to fulfill some sort of ego thing here but they would need to build up their confidence to even approach pile this person a three of swords in reverse it's like they've already caused the pain here that's um in this connection but I, I feel like this person still hasn't processed their three swords. Still hasn't healed the three swords here that's caused them to be incapable of giving and receiving love. So even though they might express how they feel, which I feel is genuine feelings of love here, I think this person's ego is still getting in the way. I think this person is still sort of held back here. And I think that this person is more acting out of egoic attainment to boost some sort of confidence that they could win back person a in some way here this is what's coming through 
so you know are their intentions good i i, I don't feel like <clears throat> this person's um trying to be hurtful but i feel like this person doesn't see their ego getting in the way here of something that's driving them you know and what's driving them is knowing that there's a happiness here in this connection knowing they've been foolish and they wasted it but they have an unhealed heart here so it's kind of not their fault that they can't receive and give love but i feel like they want to be able to express how they feel here and they want to be able to discuss this opportunity of a connection here so we have the golden rose so that's to me would be this 10 cups opportunity that's um looming that hasn't yet happened that you guys have not yet got to the sun divine masculine look at all this yellow energy which i'm getting um solar plexus all about our uh, willpower and i do feel ego coming through so i, I do feel egos coming in the way wow so we, we need to pull three but and we have sulfur and we have autumn look at all this orange and yellowy energy and we have the vir virgin's milk okay in pile one i feel like there's been lots of pain here in this connection for sure because i feel ego is getting in the way and i feel like the driver here is the potential of something absolutely beautiful that has not yet been seen realized and has been very difficult to get to and it's been bumpy and very difficult lots of turns and twists and hurts and i feel like it's been an experience here and when we're in autumn it's like we got to experience you know seeing the potential maybe through rose-colored glasses and everything that could be and then we go through it no longer being something that's you know um i don't know like the, the hope eventually falls away i guess or the benefit of no longer outweighs you know the, the suffering or the fact that there's some um, things here that aren't working and so I feel like it's beginning to stink here, okay? Like for, for, especially for pile or for person A, that something's really going to have to give way here in order for things to shift in a massive way. And I do feel like this is a transition period where things can no longer be the same. They can no longer be the same here. And so whatever's happening is required in order for things to take a turn for things to break open and i feel like person b has just been sort of taking this beautiful energy from person one here in order to i don't know make some sort of change here for themselves and i feel like when person a stops this feeding of energy to person b there will have to be sort of a massive shift and change but i feel like person b is letting their ego get in the way here and so organically things will fall away here that needs to fall away in this connection because it can never be the same and things are not working so there needs to be a, a rebirth here but i i do feel as though um confidence In self here would have to be something that is um, natural and I, I feel like person B it might seem like they are an ego and might seem like they are driven out of a selfishness here but I feel it's a, because a of lack of confidence here their inability to make something happen here So I think I feel both people are getting empowered. Person A is empowering themselves to be in charge of their own life and where they're going here and not to be pulled and, and chained to this connection. So they have to get empowered and they're learning about this. And I feel like the more this connection stinks for them and nothing happens and doesn't shift or change that this person will eventually have no choice but to just free themselves and shed this connection. 
but I feel like person B here has been taking beautiful energy from person A here for as long as they could, as long as it's available, because it's giving them something different than I feel that they've been able to experience up until now. That's making some change in this person, you know, slowly but surely, but I, I feel like the change isn't happening on the outside so much because this person's ego is still in the way and because person a is still sort of in the mix here in some way so i think everything needs to so really shed here and really fall away here in order for things to really shift open in order for things to move and i don't think it's there just yet because i still feel like person a is still sort of in the wings waiting still attached still working through some mental breaking free and closing this out completely you know and you would think once they close it out completely it's a little too late here but i feel person b understands there is something about it then being too late you know but still working with that energy after the fact to then offer something or to come forward it's like this person's waiting for this very last minute you know to hand in their assignment because then they know they have to is kind of what's coming through interesting energy pile one um this is your reading and um let me know in the comments if this resonated for you all right i will see you at the next one Bye bye hello hello beautiful gorgeous angels pile number two you guys picked the light seers tarot and the botticelli tarot and we're looking at you versus your person in regards to thoughts, feelings, intentions. And so I will be using one deck for one person, one deck for the other person. You could be either side, um, whichever side resonates for you. If you don't resonate with either side, then it's most likely not your pile. All right. So we'll be doing like person A versus person B format. And you can identify which with, with whichever side feels like your energy. So we'll start with the Light Seer's Tarot. And we're looking at... Pile two person A's thoughts in this connection. And we'll ask Spirit for a clear and concise message here for the greatest and highest good of pile two in this connection. And what is pile two person A's thoughts right here, right now in this timeless reading between them and their person? Thank you, Spirit. Please protect me and the viewer as I channel this message for the greatest and highest good of pile two in this connection. What is person A's thoughts right here, right now in this connection? Thank you so much. And thank you so much, Kyle, too, for allowing me to tap into your energy, the energy around you at this time. I'm so blessed, so grateful to be here. Thank you so much. All right. So we have three pentacles. We have the page of pentacles. And we have the nine of swords. I think I'll pull one more. Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay, so what do we have here? Okay, so I feel like this person is thinking about how they want to come forward and offer something and really sort of work on this connection with the other person okay so pal person a wants to work with person b but there's something here about this person potentially um maybe not being able to or has not yet been able to because i, I do feel like this person might be um dependent on something else potentially in a practical way or something in their life that has them dependent on them has made them having oh my cat just jumped up here okay let's go down come on okay that's right go the other way so i i feel like um This person, in a practical way, is dependent on something in their life right now that makes them incapable 
of working together on this connection or offering something in this connection or pursuing this connection. And so this causes a lot of anxiety. I think the desire here to work together, to create, to offer something and to actually pursue this connection in a practical way here. So I have a feeling that in this connection, feelings are aligned, but I, I feel like something hasn't happened in a physical, practical way of coming together. And I feel this is missing in this connection because all we see here are pentacles. So it's like, how do I show up? How do I invest in a practical way here to this connection? This person has a lot of anxiety around this. And it could be that there's other things or people getting in the way here. that this person has been dependent on or is practically stuck in some way stuck. And so there's a lot of sleepless nights and worry about not being able to do this. And that their dependency on something else has them incapable of showing up here in a way that they want to. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay. So they're fairly simple, but uh, yeah, the thoughts are a lot of um, anxious thoughts about this showing up, you know, like being able to show up to work with the other person. So let's see, how is how two person B thinking in this connection? What are their thoughts? What is the other person thinking here in this connection? Spirit, clear and concise message for the greatest and highest good. Of pile two, what is the other person thinking when it comes to this connection and about the other person specifically? So we have <clears throat> the um, Knight of Cups and we have the Nine of Swords as well, but this one is in reverse. And we have the High Priestess in reverse. Pisces energy. And we have the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is my 1111 card. Could signify a twin flame connection if you resonate with that label. An interesting energy. <clears throat> So, person B feels love here, has most likely expressed love. And, and I feel like um, this person's thinking that their feelings and their love and this connection is um, worth any sort of anxiety here. That's keeping these two apart in some way in a practical physical way and I feel like um person B might have been in a lot of anxiety at some point but I feel like um there's almost an energy of there's no point having all this anxiety here if I don't know what the future will hold and I don't know if person A will end up sort of um, working out in the end or us coming together. So there's no point in sort of having this anxiety. So I feel like person B understands that there's a lot of unknowns here that are running through this connection, but there's sort of almost a... Um, unspoken thing here that they can't really put their finger on here that has them understanding that there might be a coming together because of the feelings 
So I don't know if maybe person B is putting a lot on, on feelings because I feel like person A is putting a lot of pressure in the practical world, whereas person B is sort of um, saying because I love, because I have feelings, because I can express or show these feelings or feel these feelings, I don't know how it's going to get there and there's no real point in, in stressing or having anxiety because I know there'll be a coming together in the way that it should come together. I want to see why this high priestess is in reverse. Why is this high priestess in reverse spirit for person B here? Why is this high priestess in reverse? So that's Pisces energy. Four of cups in reverse. It's almost like I don't know whether this connection will lead to something that will eventually be unfulfilling or disappointing or not work out but there's almost like no point in engaging in anxiety or what won't work and just sort of enjoy the feelings of love here that I have and that I can express here Yeah, because I feel like this person also doesn't know how things would come together. It doesn't see in the future here. I want to see why this Four of Wands is, because I don't know if this person feels like it's already something enough for them with this Four of Wands. You know, because Four of Wands is union and coming together and a celebration. And if what this connection is, is already that for this person. But I feel like there's something practical missing. So Ace of Pentacles... So there's the pentacle, there's the solid new beginning. I feel like this person feels like there will be a new beginning in a practical way here for these two to come together at some point in time, but I don't think they see how, and I don't think that they want to worry about what won't work and if it doesn't work. And so I feel there's this like unspoken understanding of that they have in their own sort of mind here that something would come together between them and person A. So I, I feel like this person doesn't spend a whole lot of time worrying about what doesn't work. Yeah, and maybe at one point they might have, or they might see no point in that. Let's see some more because I feel like we're missing a whole bunch. Okay, so let's see. How's um, <clears throat> Kyle A feeling then in this connection? So we have seven pentacles. How is pile one, or sorry, pile two, person A feeling in this connection right here, right now about the other person on their mind and the other person here? And person reverse Taurus. King of Pentacles in reverse. Interesting. So we have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Again, with the Pentacles realm not happening. Wow. Okay. Pentacle, 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 and Pentacle. So person A is really hung up on the physical, practical things here in this connection that aren't coming together. Which is a lack of stability as far as person A is concerned. Commitment, long-term stability in some way. And so they feel like um, they don't want to emotionally sort of be in a situation here of feelings only and giving love if things can't be come together in a practical way here or have some sort of formal solid sort of commitment here and so I feel like this person wants to um 
I don't know, know that there's something here that's going to be fruitful, worth growing, worth the energy and the effort before they just invest emotionally here and, and give. So I feel like this person might have a lot of love here to give, but at the same time, I, I feel like they're held back in engaging or continuously pouring of their emotions here. If the practical world here of pentacles is not understood or ironed out here, there's lots of anxiety about this, you know, what's the long-term stability of this connection and what is this growing into? What can I expect for the future? You know, and this person doesn't feel as though there's something here that's um that's happened in a way that they're wanting but i feel like there's something that they're dependent on here and maybe they're just dependent on it coming together in a financial way oh, i'm using the wrong deck let me see why is this queen of pentacles in reverse so see we have the queen and the king so these could be you know, um, a married counterpart here. Definitely divine counterparts of truth. So the Ace of Swords is a new beginning in truth, clarity. I feel like this person could certainly be in a connection right now. that they are dependent on financially in a practical way that does not allow them to pursue this connection. But I do feel like this person wants something in a practical way here with pile or person B. So they're having to embrace some sort of truth and take some sort of action. And so because we see the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles, which is the wife card, like this person could certainly be in another connection here, which makes them unavailable here for person B. But I also feel like this person doesn't want to be in sort of a, um, a world here that they can't depend on and, and give to emotionally. Because I feel like this person might be... I don't know, like, I feel like this person could certainly be in a, in a, in a situation already, is what I feel, and be dependent on it in a practical way, but to be missing love, but then also at the same time, have love in this connection, but not wanting to invest here unless there's something worth growing, is what I'm feeling here. interesting so we do have the three pentacles it could be that there's a third party sort of energy here now seeing birds or other people in the way we're getting here so if this person is in a connection already it's something that feels loveless and that they're dependent on in a practical way here and so they're in, uh, incapable of showing up in a practical way for person b because i feel person b is the person that they're not dependent on, I feel here, and that they're needing some sort of practical thing from in order to grow something for themselves here. I hope this is making sense for someone. Okay, so let's look at um, person B and their feelings. How is person B feeling? How is person B in pile two feeling about their person here in this connection what are their feelings spirit clear and concise message for pile two how this person is feeling so we have the emperor in reverse and we have the ace of pentacles in reverse Aries energy. How is Pile 2's person here, person B, feeling? How is this person feeling? We have Strength in Reverse, Leo energy. 
two cups. All right. Okay. This person is feeling like they're incapable here of um, starting something just yet. Like they can't take action. They, they're sort of um, held back here and taking any practical action, but it doesn't stop them from feeling. So I feel like this person feels a lot of love. I feel like this person wants to give love. Like expressing emotions, I feel. But I feel this is where it's, it stops. It's like this person can express how they feel and show how they feel, but they can't act, take action on it. They can't offer something in, in, a, in a practical way or they can start something in a practical way here because of some sort of restriction here and an inability to do so. And sometimes with the Emperor in reverse and the Strength in reverse is a lack of confidence. But I feel like there's a, an inability to do so. That this person has to remain held back in some way or cannot take action right now. So I used to doing in-depth readings that um, I don't like leaving it. So like, why? You know, like why? I don't know. Maybe you know why, and you just want to know how this person's feeling. Like this person feels like they can't fucking take action here. Frustrating. Okay, so let's see what um, what are the intentions then for person A? Person A's intentions for pile two. What are their intentions in this connection? What are person A's intentions in this connection? Thank you, Spirit. So we have five pentacles in reverse, four of wands. The Fool, Aquarius Energy, and the Knight of Wands in reverse. I do want to pull one here for the Knight of Wands in reverse. Eight of Wands. Devil, Capricorn Energy. Okay. Person A feels stuck to something like I was feeling here with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse that they're dependent on that has them stuck and not happy about it. And so I feel like this person needs to get out of this. And I feel they understand that they need to get out of it and that they have the ability to get out of this, but it hasn't happened just yet. And when they get out of it, that there is an understanding of a coming together here. Again, like this person understood intuitively on some sort of capacity. They don't know how, they don't see it, but they knew that there's a coming together with four wands, a union. Okay, and that's definitely um, laying the foundation here for a, a marriage or a, a connection to establish itself in the 3D. And that this person would be free to explore this. But right now, this person is incapable of exploring this. So their intention is, I cannot move or pursue this connection until I have the, the go-ahead and the ability to break free and, and be able to take action here in a way that allows me to take a chance here on this connection when I am free of something that's holding me back right now. And what's holding them back is something in a practical way that has them bound to it, that doesn't allow them to move forward. And as I'm feeling really anxious and stuck to it, you know, but as we know, like five pentacles is like an energy that we can get out of by taking action and breaking out of that, you know, and, and this person feels like when they're capable of doing this is when there could be movement and action in this connection. But as of now, this person feels stuck on something in a practical way here that won't allow them to invest here in another practical way okay so 
let's see, how is person B then? What are their intentions? What is pile two person B's intentions here in this connection? What are their intentions? I do feel like giving this a good old mix. So we have four pentacles, nine pentacles, death in reverse Scorpio energy, and justice, Libra. And we have the five pentacles. I don't read bottom of the deck reverse. Five pentacles under that. What is this? The page of swords. In reverse okay there's something about this person not knowing how you know but they can't sort of cry about what they don't see or what they don't know you know but i do feel like this person feels like in in the same way it almost feels like two cross lovers that can't be together like there's something in a practical way here that cannot come together cannot work out And so I, I do feel like this person, um, doesn't want to let go of this connection. I don't feel they do, but I feel like this person is almost like they're, um, I feel like they're available in some way but I, I feel like there's a feeling of um it's still not being able to come together here like there's something that needs to happen in a in a way here that's the shoe needs to drop and i don't know whose side it is but i almost feel like from this energy is like well i'm available but it can't happen right now and I don't want to let go of this connection. And understanding that there needs to be major change here. But there's a, um, a sort of, a, I feel almost like a faith this person has and things working out and, and balancing out and, and becoming just at some point in time, despite what's going on right now. Eight of swords in reverse and it's like there's this knowing that right now there might be challenge and that eventually there'll be some sort of shift here in this connection that will restore balance but i do feel like this person feels um like they're available to pursue this connection and have made themselves sort of available here but I feel like either person A hasn't shown up. And so there's this like, um, I don't know what this feeling is here that I'm feeling. Why do we have four pentacles here? Eight of cups. Walking away, Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and we have Libra coming through strong hair. I feel like, um, I don't know if you guys are mirrored here, you know, if there's something that pile or person B needs to really shift within their own life here in order to become available and walk away from something that they've been hanging on to. But I feel like they feel that there's something here about them making themselves ready and available here, not letting go of this connection, not wanting to walk away from this connection, even if emotionally right now it's difficult. 
because there will be a change there will be a shift here and there's like an understanding of this that this is the only way that you guys could come together and restore some sort of balance here is if this connection goes through whatever it needs to and is kind of going through a, a shift here and so I, I don't feel like this person wants to just walk away because it's not emotionally happening right now so i feel like they're hanging around here so their intention is i will make myself available and i'll make myself sort of available and single and, and ready here for pile a and hang on to this connection until the change happens until the massive change happens which i feel they feel probably is a leaving this other situation that has them dependent so I just feel like there's these star-crossed lov lovers that can't come together. And so I feel like this person is um, understands this. But there's like a big space of loneliness, I feel, here. Like this person isn't given anything except for this feeling that they have of love and this feeling of knowing there will be justice and, and giving, but... How do they get there and how does it happen and why it's not happening is something that's not not clear to this person at this time nor is it really impacting their decision right now to whether they want to stay or leave it's just them saying that they want to wait here to see what shifts and happens understanding that there would be a change for the better eventually so I, I feel both these people have a, a common understanding here that, that it's not the right time and that they know that there will be a coming together and both kind of see it and that the time will happen when it happens and that there's some other reasoning why it cannot happen right now. And I do feel like it's in pile A's side, but for some of you guys, it could be that... Um, I don't know, B might also be mirroring this in some regard of their life, some way. But I do feel it's mostly coming from A. So let's see, we'll get some sort of shared energy here. Spirit for pile two. Pile two in this connection. What's going on here? Neptune. And the void. Oh, this is like the gap I'm feeling between this sort of energy sulfur interesting that came out for pile one oops that one jumped towards me ash and i do feel one more again okay and we have the raven's head so i feel like there's this energy of an understanding here this is sort of a dreamy energy of what could be and it, it feels like nothing's really solidified in this connection and so there's nothing formed there's nothing birthed and i feel like both a and b here have some sort of thing to wrap up some sort of thing they're needing to work out here before they can actually move in to make things work together and so this is the only way that there could be a shift and a change, but it's like these people specifically, A for sure is dealing with something here that needs to be resolved and put in, and I don't know, like, yeah, put an end to or resolved is kind of what I, I see here. Like how they're going to manage and deal with what's going on in their life right now has to become resolved and clear and cleared out and, And when they're free of this, then they could be reborn and accomplish something here with person B. But right now, nothing's been really accomplished and they like, really can't see their way. Like they can't find their way this way. This kind of blindly, intuitively following some sort of higher calling when it comes to this connection for both of these people. And it's like parts of themselves, of their past life or their past experience before coming together needs to completely be put away before coming together here to accomplish something but i feel like there's this 
knowing of coming together for there to be something to be created and a, and a mission that these two people feel that they they are being called to be pulled together here in some way like a, a knowing of this but it seems like it's almost like all been a dream up until now, like nothing practical, just a feeling, just an understanding, just a knowing, nothing's manifested. Things are still falling apart in, in a way here that needs to fall apart. And I don't know, once it gives, then there's a shift here. But until then, that's sort of what's going on. Yeah, this is what I have, pile two. This is, was an interesting one. Um, let me know in the comments if this resonated for you, okay? I will see you at the next one. Bye-bye. Hello, hello, beautiful, gorgeous angels. Pile number three, you guys picked the Dancing in the Dark Tarot and the After Tarot for your pick. And we are looking at you versus your person in regards to thoughts, feelings, and intentions. All right, so we'll be using two decks one for you one for your person i don't know which side you're going to fall on but we'll be doing person a versus person b format so you could be either a or b left or right it's up to you which side you resonate with if you don't resonate with either side and then chances are this is not your pile you can go pick another pile okay these are interesting readings and not every single reading that I do here is going to be one that resonates for you and your connection. But this will be for whichever connection is needing to hear this timeless message right here, right now, in regards to how the person on your mind is thinking, feeling, and what their intentions are. So, Spirit, clear and concise message for the greatest and highest good of Pile 3. And Person A, how is this person thinking? What are they thinking? What are their thoughts right now in this connection for pile three? Person A's thoughts, clear and concise message for the greatest and highest good of pile number three spirit. What are their thoughts? Shuffly do. Ooh, wow. That one could have been very disastrous. One more. All right. Spirit. Clear and concise message for the greatest and highest good of pile three. Please protect me and the viewer as I channel this message for the greatest and highest good of pile three. Protect me and the viewer as I channel this message, Spirit. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Pile 3, for allowing me to tap into your energy and the energy around you at this time. So, Person A, we got Seven Cups. We got the Hermit Virgo energy. And we got the Emperor Aries energy. One more. We have the Ten Swords in reverse. Okay. I do feel like seeing the bottom of the deck. What do we have? Four cups. Four wands under that. Two fours. Structure, foundation, stability, planning. Planning is all about this Emperor energy. And my four wands is my 1111, which sometimes signifies twin flames. Okay, so what's happening here? I feel like there might be a shift here is what I'm picking up intuitively in regards to this person's thinking that's different than the past because I do feel like in the past potentially this person might have rejected this connection okay or might have been focused on other things here and really confused and might still potentially be sort of sorting through this and confused but I feel like this person is really sort of reflecting on what they want like really sort of understanding what it is that they want and really wanting to take action on what they want and go after what they want, which I don't feel they have been able to do here. And I think this person wants to prevent an ending because I don't feel like this person wants this connection to end or to come to an end or to foresee an end here. Yeah, they want to come together in this connection and I don't feel like they've been maybe able to choose this connection in a balanced way in a balanced partnership because of either they rejected 
this connection or have shown little interest or just been focused on other things that have been taking away their energy. And so I don't know if there has been an ending already and this person doesn't want it to, it to be official or to end. And so I feel like this person has really been reflecting on what they want for the long term and what do they want to take action on and how to build stability how to choose and prioritize this connection from a state of where they were really confused or just muddled and not quite sure what they wanted. Yeah, so it's like, um, I feel seeing this connection and contemplating, like, what do I got to put into this connection? You know, like, what is it that I need to take action on and invest in? in order for there to be something manifested here in a practical way that hasn't yet been produced and because of my up until now inability to put forward whatever it is that it's going to take in order to manifest something. Okay, so let's see person B and what are their thoughts for pile three. What's person B's thoughts? Spirit, clear and concise message for the greatest and highest good of this connection. What is the other person's thoughts here in this connection about their person and the other person in this connection? And what are their thoughts, Spirit? Priestess, Pisces, Energy. King of Swords, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Swords. I'm so sorry. King of Wands in reverse. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. Temperance, Sagittarius, Energy. And the Four of Swords in reverse. Temperance in reverse as well. That's the bottom of the deck. Wheel of Fortune. And under that, we have the Ace of Swords in reverse. Okay. So what's this person thinking? I, I think this person has potentially been trying to fight for this connection. Trying to maybe convince person A about this connection in some way. You know, I feel like intuitively this person might have understood what this connection was probably at an early sort of stage here because I do feel like person B was offering this opportunity to person A at one point and was tired of fighting. You know, I was no longer sort of fighting because I feel like this person is saying, well, if person A is not... Um, wanting to choose this connection or showing up in this connection or taking action in this connection and nothing's sort of working out here, then I can't sort of stick around here. So if person A is unclear, that will leave me unclear. I'm not sure which direction it's going to go. And so I have to sort of move in the direction that the universe pulls me towards organically here rather than fight or resist or be against what I'm supposed to do here because it should flow, it should be cohesive. There is no need for me to have to force anything or pursue or chase or compete for pile A or for person A. And so I feel like this person might have had pain and suffering and conflict here for quite some time, you know, and I don't feel like this person wants to repeat any sort of cycles here in this connection and is looking to get clear themselves and so if there's uncertainty and a lack of clarity on person a's behalf then they have no choice but to move on for the better for themselves to not have to repeat sort of needing to heal a broken heart or indifference or i don't know like yeah just sort of Having to fight for something here that's, that they feel they shouldn't have to fight for. It should be something that flows naturally between the two. And so I feel like this person 
despite them intuitively knowing something greater here, it's like this person doesn't want to just go and try to make this, this thing happen because it needs to be two-sided. So no matter how much they try or desire or want things to come together, the cat wants to go out. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. The cat was scratching at the door. So person B is saying, no matter how much I fight or try or whatever, like, I don't want to argue. I don't want to have to chase up and fight for person A, because I do feel like it has led to a disappointment. It has led to a repeat cycle at some point in time and picking intuitively. So there, there's certainly a history here, you know, and, and person B might have felt very rejected by person A at some point. And has had to pick themselves up. And I feel like they're coming out of that state. And saying things still aren't clear with person A. So in order for me to move on, I can't remain here fighting or conflicted. I can't work with a one-sided energy. I have no choice but to sort of move on because things are unclear. Not really knowing where they're going, but not sticking around here. Okay, so that's their thoughts. Now, let's see. What is pile number three person A's feelings then? What are person A's feelings right here, right now? Pile three. This person's feelings in this connection about the other person. What are their feelings right here, right now? Spirit, clear and concise message for the greatest and highest good of this connection. Ace of Cups in reverse. Um, the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, the Devil, Capricorn energy. Ooh, I see through the dice, probably. Oh, well. And we have the chariot in reverse. And the page, or sorry, the page, the knight of cups. Okay. Okay. So how is pot person A feeling? I, I feel like person A might have really crapped the bed at some point in time that might have led to an ending or is leading to an ending. And I think they know this. Oopsie. I think they know this, okay? And I think they want to prevent any further conclusion of losing pile B, wherever pile B might be. Because they feel like pile B is either already ended something and is now trying to close them out, shut them out, or move on with themselves, which is pretty accurate here because of an inability to move forward. And I feel like there's been a lot of unhealthy sort of energy coming from person A that they haven't been able to resolve so far, which is not allowing them to be successful and balanced and showing up in this connection. But they are really, really pulled to person B, very attracted to person B. I feel like they... Um, feel like person B is no longer wanting to engage or will pull away their love if they don't resolve something here. I feel like A is unwilling to let go of person B here, is really stuck to this connection and is wanting to come forward to express how they feel before they lose person B and show them how they feel. Because I do feel they feel person B is could potentially pull their love away and their opportunity here at love. So six, what is this, lovers? This is the lovers. Yeah, it's like they don't want to lose the option, you know, the choice to choose this connection because I think there was a choice, like we saw with the four cups on the table, for them to choose this connection, to choose who they're attracted to here. They see... Person B is this attractive, confident, beautiful queen of wands who's going to just do her own thing here if things weren't, aren't moving. And they see her pulling her energy and potentially no longer offering that cup and that four cups that they are offering to this connection and pulling this back saying, oh no, I don't want to have to compete and fight and stay here. 
but I feel like there's a very strong sort of obsession here with this per like hanging on to person B, you know, and, and coming in and saying like all these sweet things here to try to get this person to come back and offer this cup. But uh, I feel like uh, there's been, yeah, like this inability to have success in, in moving things forward in this connection because of person A's inability to, to choose or to really know themselves and what they wanted for the long term here. So let's see, why is this chariot here? So it's Cancer energy in reverse. Eight of Cups in reverse and Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So... I feel like person A had some established thing in their life. And this could be anything from a family to uh, uh, something they've built in their life, something that's been established that might not be working in their life anymore, that they're having a hard time sort of parting with and walking away from, and that emotionally no longer fulfills them in some way, but they haven't been able to walk away. So it's been unhealthy because it hasn't allowed them to grow and move forward in their life. And so they've been stuck here, dedicating themselves emotionally or in a practical way, surrounding themselves in an environment here that's been emotionally unfulfilling at the expense of losing out on this connection or potentially losing this connection. But I also feel like this person doesn't want to let go of this connection in any way because... There could certainly be a potential of a long-term happiness here of something that they could build with Pile B that hasn't yet been realized or chosen with the lovers here in this Seven Cups, but an understanding of a long-term potential that could be fulfilled if they walk away from something here in their life, and it could be anything at all. But I feel like it's an established thing. You know, where they live, who they live with, what they've built for themselves in some way that I feel is potentially over or has been over. A wheel of fortune. Look at that, you guys. Okay, so wheel of fortune, fate, divine timing, things turning for the better. All the universe sort of getting involved and allowing things to move and, and flow as it should when it should. And it's also cyclical sort of things happening here that um, might have just caused person B to not want to engage anymore. Repeating cycles here for whatever reason. Okay, so let's see how person, um, let's pull this back. Person B then is feeling. How is person B feeling in this pile three group how is this person feeling about the other person here what are their feelings right here right now for the other person for this connection what are their feelings spirit clear and concise message ten swords yeah so there was an understanding of this ace of cups in reverse mirrored on this side Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and the Knight of Cups. Interesting because we had the Knight of Cups right here. Okay, so these two understand each other very well, I feel here. Three Swords. I feel like there's an understanding, okay, like an understanding of how each operates. So I do feel like there's been cycles that you each understand that they will repeat or have repeated so they know each other very well and what's to happen here. It's like this person A understands that though they stand to lose person B because maybe person B is left, you know, has left many times or is has the propensity to leave if they're not shown a cup here. And I feel like this person, person B, feels as though they will have to leave if they don't get offered a, a cup here of love. Like they have to get clear about their direction of where they want to go. And if it's not a cup of love from person A, then they have to move towards what is going to be emotionally fulfilling. You know, I do feel there's a lot of love here between these two. And I don't feel like person B wants to have an ending here, but I feel like they have no choice. And I feel like 
there's been a lot of heartbreak already and I feel like person B can now withstand it's like maybe it was very turbulent and very intense and very painful and there's been a lot of cycles and they've had to do a lot of healing and I feel like they've gone through the ringer here and so now it's like even if it ends it's like you know I don't think they want it to end but it's like oh well like I've already gone through this and oh well like I can heal from this and as long as I stick to a truth and my certainty and clarity which is I need love expressed to me you know I need to stand in my self-worth here because I feel like this person feels they don't want to be in a situation that compromises their own sort of value, you know, or their self-worth. So I feel like this person has become colder. But, I mean, cold as in knowing their self-worth and not so much leaning into emotions so much as what is right for them. That emotions aren't the only thing, but that they can pursue, you know, what they emotionally feel is right for them and if they feel rejected here with person a then it's clearly not the right situation for them and they see this so i feel like they're led by their own sort of transformation to do the right thing for them because they've been hurt here and have learned some sort of lesson and had to pick themselves up why is this knight of cups here spirit what is this Knight of Cups all about here? Three of Pentacles in reverse. And the Six Cups. This is my soulmate's card. This is also reconciliation. So I feel like um, Person B understands person A to be someone who would come in here and um, want to reconcile and to express emotions here but still not be able to put in the energy or to show up or to create or manifest something in a practical way here and to express emotions is one thing but to actually work together to build something might be something that person A has had a hard time doing that person B understands And so I think person B, on an intuitive level, knows that person A is going to want to come together or to work together because there's a soul recognition here that runs very deep between these two. But that there is um, something more here that has to come together in a practical way. And look at Empress. So we have Libra and um, Taurus energy, divine feminine, knowing one's self-worth, unconditional love. This is also giving me childhood with the mother energy and childhood. So there's some sort of childhood energy that comes through here that has been repaired or is needing to be repaired here through this connection because I, I do feel like there was something here that was healing or had to be healed in regards to I don't know like maybe abandonment wounds or mother wounds or childhood inner child traumas about self-love and self-worth that I feel person B could see So I still feel I need another one here for this Knight of Cups. Like, I'm kind of getting them understanding that person A would come forward, expressing themselves, but still incapable of showing them in a practical way something here because this person is incapable of walking away from something that they're already committed to here. So what's with this Knight of Cups? It's not enough for this person to want to work with that. You know, like, okay in the world so person B sees something here in regards to this connection where even if person A comes and apologizes to them that the expressing oneself here isn't enough here to make things sort of come together in a practical way unless both parties are able to show up and work together and I don't feel like 
person B thinks that this would be the case, or if, yeah, that, that even if pile person A comes forward, it's not enough that they need to step up in a practical way. So I feel like person B is really wanting to conclude a cycle here because we saw the wheel of fortune on both sides. Like they're done with the cycles because the cycles is causing conflict, not getting anywhere, resistance, butting of heads, indifference. And they're like, I'm done. Like I'm done with that cycle. Like that cannot continue anymore. I'll have to close that chapter out because they understand their self-worth here. And if they're not valued in a way here that fills their own cup, they have no choice but to put an end to this connection. And the only way is for there to be collaboration, working together, not just expressing emotions here and apologies and reconciliations of love, because I do feel this person understands there's love, but there has to be something more. Okay, that makes sense to me. Let's take a look at person A then and their intention. I feel like I got to put these ones back in. Okay, what is person A for pile number three's intentions? Two of pentacles in reverse. And this one's sliding out the bottom, the king of cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Seven swords and four swords. And one more. What is pile three person A's intentions here in this connection? pentacles and we have high priestess pisces okay so person a also oh wow keeps sliding once under that page of pentacles okay these two are really cute i feel like person a understands as well on an intuitive level i feel both of these people are highly intuitive and can feel his connection on a spiritual level here with the wheel of fortune the universe and the high priestess very faded, very spiritual, okay, very intuitive here. And they know that they have to offer something practical here, that there is something here that they have to choose, that they have not yet chose. And they have to come out of this indecision, okay? They have to come out of this indecision. And with the lovers there, they know it's a choice that they haven't chosen, that they've been back and forth, that they've left it pretty open. And because of the love that they feel here, they have to deal with their in honesty you know and i feel like the in honesty here is shutting out person b in some way here by sort of being maybe a little more self-focused or not expressing in an up upfront honest way what their intention is here because they've been indecisive in this two swords in this seven cups you know in this two pentacles potentially coming back and forth they're not prioritizing and making person b feel like they're not choosing them and so it's been very painful, I feel, for person A, you know, that they've caused this pain, this three swords, because of their indecision. And so they feel like they have to sort of come forward with the truth here and that they're, they're working their way through this and reflecting on this. But this would require them letting go of something existing in their life now that I feel, again, is that, that established thing. But I feel like they're working on releasing this. They want to. Their intention is that they want to because their love that they feel here for pile b is very deep and so i feel like they're working on letting go of whatever pentacle realm had them stuck and have them not being open and upfront to work together and indecisive here and moving forward so let's see this four pentacles then why is this four pentacles in reverse we see some more of this four pentacles this one flying beside me which is the knight of wands and i'll pull one more for this four pentacles in reverse so knight of wands taking quick action and the nine of swords in reverse and four wands so four wands is my 11 11. Like I said, it, it could signify twin flames here, but this is the union coming together, the structure, the stability of the connection. Okay, so I feel like um, 
this person understands in order to come together, in order to lay a foundation here for the future stability of this connection that they intuitively already know and feel, they have to take action on releasing something here. And I think there's been a lot of anxiety about this, but I feel like the, the peak is not as painful maybe as it was at one point in the idea of releasing what they have to, because I feel like at one point it was very difficult for them to take action and have any sort of movement here. And so this person cannot move in this connection unless they release something in which now they are seeing as something that they could take action on, where in the past it was something that caused them a lot of anxiety. So I feel like there's been a lot of pain, there's been a lot of reflecting about this, and so there's been some understanding here in what it is that this person needs to do, or that at least they're more willing to do it because of their feelings here in this connection. Yeah, it's like, what are they willing to do and invest here in order to make something happen? The Seven Pentacles. I feel like I need more though, like, look at that, the star, long-term hope. It's like they, they, they see that the long-term hope, desire for what do they want here is really driving this, that the anxiety isn't keeping them immobilized here because I, I feel like they were really immobilized by taking action on releasing the thing here in order to be able to move and have success with pile B which I feel is still sort of at a standstill. Okay. Wowzers. Okay, so now let's see what's this going on here. So many cards. I'm going to put these back. We're going to look at person B and their intention then. For pile three, what's person B's intention here? What's this other person's intention in this connection? Spirit, clear and concise message. For the greatest and highest good. What is person B's intention? Thank you so much. Six wands, ace of pentacles in reverse. Eight wands. Wheel of fortune in reverse. And two swords. I feel like person B is no longer going to allow whatever person A does to get in the way of their own success and their forward movement. So although if something doesn't manifest here, I don't feel it's going to stop person B from moving forward because I feel like person B has a very fixed idea of where they want to go. And I feel like they know or they understand here that if things are stuck and not moving forward, that it's not the right time but it doesn't stop them from moving forward and having success in their own life. So I feel like um, they understand things haven't manifested, you know, and, and in order for this connection to be sort of moving in the right direction, there has to be a new beginning, you know, like fulfilling them emotionally here and them acting on their own self-worth and a new beginning in, emotional expression and also in, in a practical way here that hasn't taken place. And so I feel like this person feels like things certainly could be stopped here for a while, but their intention is to keep moving despite this connection that might not be the right time for them. So it's like an understanding that it, just because this isn't the right time, it's not going to stop me. Just because this isn't the right time or the universe hasn't manifested anything here doesn't mean that I have to be unsuccessful, that I have to stop. I could still move towards something here. You know, and, and I feel like this person feels like, I don't know, like, I'm going to pull one for this two of swords, but... Like maybe person A has some battle here they're having to do in order to overcome getting clear and decisive in order to sort of fight for person B if they want to have person B in their life. Why is this two swords here, spirit? Hierophant in reverse, Taurus energy. And now we have the seven wands. 
which is looking a lot like the five wands. Yeah, okay, so this is very intuitive sort of reading rather than traditional card reading. I, I feel like person B knows now is not the right time or hasn't been the right time to produce something in this connection because of person A's inability to fight for this connection and to stand up for and fight and, and commit and, and show a long-term sort of <clears throat> understanding of what they want. They've been indecisive. And so I feel like person B is saying, I don't want to have to fight or compete or be in this whole thing. So unless person A is going to fight for me and stand for fighting for this connection and, and know what they value and want to commit here, because they haven't so far, and then I'm going to sort of know that I could be victorious elsewhere and just keep sort of moving until the time is right. But it's not going to be waiting around. And so if that means I have to put an end here to this connection, that's something I'm going to have to do. Because that's the only way that I'm going to find victory for myself and move towards something that is emotionally fulfilling for me that reflects my value here and that I understand clearly is going to be decisive about me and clear, you know, like clear, not, not uncertain. Death. Oh, is it death? No, it's not. It's four pentacles with the death card here. Or with the death symbol. It's the same. It's the same as this whole thing. It's like... These two are really in tune with each other. It's like person B is saying, person A needs to release the thing. Have a massive transformation with this death appearing here. Scorpio energy coming through. Massive transformation in their own life in order for them to release whatever this is, is the only way that things could move forward. And this person is going to have to fight to do this. But this person might be defensive, might be standing their own sort of ground in regards to this thing that they're hanging on to. And, and this person doesn't want to, to fight and convince. So it's like every time this person might have tried to get this person to detach or release that's 10 pentacles in the reverse. This person. Person A has been defensive, been sort of standing their ground. And so person B saying, well, I don't want to fight. So person A will have to, you know, fight for me or stop sort of defending their position and let go and have this massive change and really show where they want to commit to and what they want to choose. And right now they're choosing something else, which is making them indecisive in regards to this connection. So it doesn't feel right. It's kind of stalled out here. And so they're kind of giving it up to the universe. Wowzers. Okie dokie. So let's pull some of these cards just to get an overall energy of the connection here. Spirit for pile number three. What further can we clarify here for the viewer in regards to this connection? What's going on here? So we have the peacock's tail. So always gives me Wheel of Fortune energy. So three times now we're seeing Wheel of Fortune. Or I should say four times because it popped up here. Divine intervention. Divine timing. Something very faded here. The Peacock's Tale is all about um, the different ways and perspectives we can have and seeing things from different sort of views. It's about diversity. And the rainbow always gives me hope. So I feel like there's some hope here. And we have glass, number 30, or the number 3. And we have Pluto, Scorpio energy. And we have sublimation, and one more. And we all ended up getting five of these all piles, which I wasn't intending, but I guess that's how it came out. Okay, sun, divine masculine energy. Oh, this one, gold. Okay, wow, yellowy. Lots of cards. Okay. So, pile number three. What a history here. I feel like there's been a lot of pain that's resulted here in, in someone's inability to reflect back to the other person to choose this connection in some way. And I feel like it's had to go through the long way, the hard way 
but the, that the battle feels almost over in some way because once we're hurt so many times, you know, I, I feel like um, it becomes something that just becomes sort of numb here with the yellowing. Like I feel like things have died off quite a bit here, you know, because of an inability to shed the things here that need to go away. Potentially there being a lot of fears here and facing a lot of things that pile A was needing to face in their own life in order to get very clear and certain about their direction of the future, needing to see things completely sort of differently and rise above their situation in order for them to take action, to be empowered. And mostly I'm getting A needing to be empowered to take action, to rise above wherever they were stuck or wherever there was fear. Because I think there's something absolutely beautiful here in this connection, you know, worth fighting for and worth having. And I feel both parties see it. And I do feel as though there is a shift here and that, that the healing was needing to happen in this way for the universe to sort of get involved here. That person, A, was really needing to come into this awareness on their own, what they wanted for the long term, when they could see and commit and take action here with the emperor and the sun, you know, get empowered in their own life to make massive change, to rise above and see things from a higher perspective of what they needed to let go, what wasn't emotionally fulfilling here, despite their anxieties in order to come together. And I feel like this is what's happening. This is exactly what's happening. How many times I want to pull the seven pentacles? Because I, I feel like this person hasn't been able to put energy, effort in a practical way into this connection. So nothing's really manifested. They haven't been able to take action here, you know? So I do want to pull why this gold is here. Why is this gold here, Spirit? Also giving me, like, look at all these circles. I'm feeling very much like there's a lot of repeats here that cause the yellowing, you know, of this connection. Because it's like, how many times are we going to reopen a wound here? It's death in reverse. This is Pluto energy. Scorpio energy. Yeah, it's like this person, in order to attain the gold, okay, in order to manifest, I feel, the pentacle, the thing worth having here, there needed to be clearing of the old, facing one's fears and shadows and things that they were really sort of incapable of releasing here that no longer serves them in order to have a massive transformation in their life. And I feel this person's working through this to rise above this, to be empowered in their life, you know, to see past that. And in order to see past that, they have to sort of open themselves up to seeing things completely from different sort of ways rather than a fixed way that they might have been because it was all stemmed from fear and staying in their comfort zone here. But I feel like there's an intuitive knowing that there's something greater here to attain, but there needs to be an empowerment here of taking that action. So yeah, King of Wands, take the action, the confidence, feel empowered to take action. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So I feel this is divine masculine energy here for sure with the Aries. Okay. Well, sun means divine masculine. We're seeing the king of cups. We're seeing the king of wands. So there's lots of passion here. And look, king of wands, queen of wands. Person A definitely sees pile B or person B as their equal counterpart here. Okay. Like this is the power couple here. So I feel like person A sees this connection as their person this is the power couple here there's an intuitive understanding but there was a need to face one's fear and go through a release of something here that's they're still releasing with the yellowing it's still sort of on its way out in order for there to be new for them to take action towards something in the future here that i think has been taking its time but it's all in divine timing has been fated to happen and this person's had to fight through this you know and I, I do feel like person b has gone through potentially a lot of fighting you know because of this but it is done like there's no longer in the in the weeds of it and they might have had to face their own pluto but i feel like things have calmed down here for pile b or person b how many times i don't know how many times i'm going to pull this seven pentacles you guys but it keeps showing up this is about us putting in the energy and the effort and sometimes feeling like giving up because 
we're not seeing the fruits of our labor and um i feel like this person is sort of sitting on this this pentacle sitting on this gold sitting on this manifestation with this pitchfork it's like holding it in place contemplating reflecting i want to pull a clarifier here for this um seven pentacles because it keeps showing up why do we keep seeing the seven pentacles for person a what is this representing here the seven pentacles for person a in pile three what is the seven pentacles representing spirit can we get a clarifier here on this message please the page of pentacles which we already saw a new beginning following an opportunity, taking that pentacle and making an offer to start something that could build to something. Yeah. So person A understands they have to take action. They have to follow up on this opportunity in order to attain the gold here. And they'd have to offer something in a practical way here in a way of knowing what they want for the long term commitment and communicate this and come forward and, and put in the energy and the effort by starting with that seed. That they're resting on and sitting on that they here see this potential that they could grow but i feel like something's dying on this side here you know something's dying on this side here that needs to die and allow things to shift and in order for this person to take action which is this so let's see yeah, eight of swords they're feeling stuck to something that's been limiting them you know a belief here that had them feeling very stuck and limited not seeing a greater truth so they were sitting here two swords causing a five swords causing a five swords here so the longer we're in eight swords which is an understanding of a limitation it, it doesn't allow us to take action and move and i feel like if they couldn't move they had to sit in some indecisive two swords energy which pal two or person two was picking up because of their inability to grasp some sort of truth here which was release whatever they're needing to release put an end to whatever in order to cause some sort of healing here in their own life so that they could take this offer and and you know be empowered to put in the energy to create something here but they'd have to rise above this the situation that um is a big part of their life here that's um very difficult you know like this is difficult heavy energy when we have to release things that don't serve us and peel back the skeletons in our closet here so this is what i have pile number three i hope this resonated for you and i'll see you at the next one hello hello gorgeous angels pile number four you guys pick the salvador dali tarot and the dante tarot for your tarot packs and we're looking at you versus your person in regards to thoughts feelings and intentions with the person on your mind so i'll be using two tarot packs one for you one for your person and i'm not sure which one is going to resonate for you as being your energy but we'll look at left side versus right side a versus b you can be either a or b it's up to you to determine whether one side resonates for you and if one side resonates then this is your pile all right it doesn't have to be left or right but one side should resonate as your energy and the other side will be your person's so we'll ask Spirit for a clear and concise message right here, right now, in regards to pile number four and how this connection is going in regards to feelings, thoughts, and intentions. So Spirit, pile four, person eight, and what are their thoughts right here, right now? Thoughts for person A in this connection. Clear and concise message for the greatest and highest good of pile number this person's thoughts right here right now in this connection please protect me and the viewer as i channel this message for the greatest and highest good of pile number four thank you so much pile four for allowing me to tap into your energy the energy around you at this time i'm so blessed and so grateful to be here so we have judgment wow we had that one flip around ace of wands in the reverse and we have the five cups clarified by the what is that seven cups in reverse i'm gonna leave that like that for now and one more the 
the sun. Leo energy. In the bottom of the deck, we have the devil. Capricorn energy. I'm going to move this pile. Okay. What do I feel here? Wow, this is pretty intense here to have the devil and the sun and uh, judgment. This person is seeing something very clearly that um, was keeping something stuck. There's like a, a realization of something here that's actually really illuminated here. That could have been a reason why this person was incapable of potentially pursuing this connection. And keeping them more focused on what wasn't working or something of the past that's uh, had them feeling very sad here. That wasn't allowing this person to prioritize or choose this connection. And it was keeping them sort of in this seven cups energy, which is uncertain. You know, not being able to prioritize. Head in the clouds. Not very clear, you know, because of the past, past pain, past experience in their life that could have been caused by anything outside of this connection or potentially the pain of this connection. But some looking back in, in sadness of something here, you know, that it wasn't allowing this person to move forward. It's had them feeling very stuck. But I feel like there's a shining of the light here on this um illusion that they might have carried you know an understanding of this and why there's been this sort of um ability to press through this is because of this person's deep sense of love here with this king of cups cancer scorpio pisces and their happiness in this connection because they feel like there's great happiness that comes in this connection that this person's coming into some great realization about you know that they were stuck or something has them stuck or you know because they could still be stuck here but there's a shining of the light on what has had them stuck, what was not allowing them to move forward to pursue this connection. Because I feel like this Ace Wands is reflecting them being inspired to take action on this connection. You know, feeling desire, passion towards this connection, and feeling stuck to something else that made them feel sad. The Chariot's Movement, Cancer Energy success, finding balance, finding a way to pull through despite them feeling bound and stuck to something unhealthy here in this devil unhealthy ways. Yeah, this unhealthy devil thing could be a lot of things here, but uh, they're shining the light on the, the devil part of themselves. So I want to see what is this devil here? I do know that this devil energy was not allowing them to pursue this connection or to be clear about what sort of option they, they wanted to take here. And so the past was keeping them in devil. What is this devil? Can we get a little bit more on this devil energy? Page of swords. It, the devil could be a bunch of things for you guys, okay? Because it's unhealthy ways of being, addictions, just stuck to things, maybe the pains of the past that doesn't allow us to move forward. Uh, understandings of self and whatever this devil thing is what we're getting here is didn't allow this person to clearly decide on this connection you know they couldn't become clear of what they wanted in this connection and they probably couldn't communicate clearly what it was that they wanted either and so now there's this understanding that this person's having because we're looking at their thoughts like they're coming into some awareness that they're shedding the light on what this devil is that they haven't been able to understand something clearly or choose something here because of this past five cups thing okay so let's see what is this five cups then about what's causing them to Oops, let me grab that in a second okay so oops we had Clarifying the five cups, we have the four pentacles. This is devil energy, being stuck to something. We have the knight cups, being able to express our emotions and show love. And here we have the, what is this? Ten swords. So, I feel like um, there's a couple of things coming through here. This person might have been very held back. And expressing their emotions in this connection 
because of something that they've experienced in the past that's ended, that's made them feel hurt. So it could have been another connection or they're anticipating that if things come to an end in this connection at some point in time and don't work out, that it would cause a lot of pain for this person. So the more that they feel love and express themselves, it could lead to this eventually not working out and them being in this state of looking back. So I feel like this person is just very held back with expressing their emotions and showing emotions here. And so they'd rather choose the comfort zone of not experiencing this ten swords you know this is certainly devil behavior anticipating some sort of pain here so let's see what's this ten swords about two of wands yeah it's like they could choose to go after and pursue this connection or choose the comfort zone and i feel this person's comfort zone is not expressing how they feel here because there's some sort of anticipation of I don't know, having this Ten Swords. So why is this Ten Swords here? What is this painful ending about? Like, I don't know if they've experienced a painful ending or the star. Yeah, it's like, for a lot of you guys, it could be that this person fears, like, in the future, in the future there could be an anticipation of something coming to an end and it's like if this is their dream their hope to attain something here and it doesn't happen with this ten swords and comes to an end it's going to cause a lot of sadness and pain you know but it's looking at what to do, wouldn't work what couldn't work and sticking to the comfort zone and by not communicating one's own or expressing one's own emotions here and taking action and being decisive here okay so <clears throat> we understand their thoughts let's take a look at um the other person's thoughts then on the other side here let's keep this here and shuffle that over person b for pile number four what is the other person's thoughts spirit person b's thoughts what is person b's thoughts in this connection about the other person what are their thoughts clear and concise message for the greatest and highest good of pile number four we have the page of pentacles in reverse ten wands four cups and three no five pentacles okay and five cups so person b is looking back on this connection as something that has been disappointing i feel the heaviness here has been person a's inability to pursue this connection so nothing's manifested here in this connection person a didn't pursue didn't show up here Person B feels and is thinking about how they're disappointed here and how they've had to carry the burden of things not taking off here and feeling rejected and feeling left out in the cold. Thinking about feeling rejected here. Yeah, like they potentially offered person A a cup of love and were flat out rejected because person A didn't pursue it. And nothing really manifested, and they're looking back here on sadness and thinking, like, it didn't work, and it was just too heavy to carry this sort of an energy judgment in reverse. So I, I feel like person B thinks that person A is needing definitely to come into some sort of greater awareness here, but that things will come to light that haven't yet to come to light, which is true, because the sun here was illuminating the devil here. Like at how much maybe that this person has had to carry, you know, in this connection. That the challenge has been one that's unbearable here for this person to continue carrying. Especially them feeling left out in the cold and feeling rejected. Or at least them thinking about how this has impacted them. Okay, so now let's look at person A and their feelings. So, spirit, for pile number four, person A's feelings. How's person A feeling? So we have the High Priestess in reverse, Pisces energy.
and we have three pentacles. And we have a whole bunch of cards just going everywhere, so too many spirit. Let's do that again. If they want to come out, they will certainly come out again. These cards are very long to shuffle. Okay, spirit, clear and concise message here for pile number four. And we have, I believe this is ten wands in reverse. Is this upright? Is this right? Sorry guys, I think it's this way. Wow, no. So much for knowing which way I'm reading these cards. Let's see how many I have here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, ten wands. Okay. I'm gonna read it like this. Which is in the upright. Because I do feel that is right. Okay, ten wands, and how is pile four person A feeling? We have the hangman, more Pisces energy. So, person A has not been able to take action. Has been in a state of limbo here, okay? Unable to commit, I feel, here, and they understand this is the burden in this connection. This person is burdened by their inability here to show up and collaborate and to create something here. They haven't acted on their intuition because I feel like there's um, going against what they know is intuitively right. Right, excuse me. Because I feel like they're being pulled to take action here and that they can now see that they've been in devil ways. And intuitively, there's a pulling and a calling for them to step up, to manifest and create here and show up. And it's become very heavy and heavy and heavy for this person to remain in a state of limbo, to not commit one way or another, to not make a decision, to not get enlightened about who choosing, you know, because I feel this person really wants to choose this connection, but it's felt very, very stuck with the devil energy here, you know, but they're seeing this coming into some greater awareness of this king of swords, yeah, understanding this Gemini Libra Aquarius, and they might have been very much in their mind rather than taking action on what they feel is intuitively right. Ten swords again this time in reverse yeah like anticipating an ending trying to prevent a painful ending like what if this ends you know what if i get hurt again because maybe in the past this person could have certainly experienced some sort of pain so it's like preventing some sort of ending before it even begins so if i don't show up if i don't you know pursue it if i don't follow up on it then i can't get hurt so let's see how it is pile for person b feel Five cups coming out again. Looking back on sadness of something that's made them feel disappointed, you know. Nine wands. Wow, look at this nine wands. It's looking very much like a five wands. That's a conflict. Three wands in reverse. I'm just going to move forward. Now, like in order for this person to move forward, to have growth here, they'd have to sort of keep fighting and compete here for pile one. And I don't think, or pile one, person A, pile four, person A. And I don't think this person has anything left in them to fight for this connection and have to compete. Yeah, six swords in reverse. And the devil in reverse, Capricorn energy. One more. How is Kyle for a person be feeling? Start in reverse. Okay. Person B has been disappointed, like I keep saying, and I feel like they're losing hope in this connection and they're understanding the unhealthy ways of this connection that need to be, that need to change because things are stick, stuck the same. Like if they want to stick around and be disappointed, they could stick around here. Like in order for them to kind of come out and of this they'd have to move forward because if they stick around here they feel like it would be conflict they'd have to just um yeah continue sort of resisting and carrying this heavy load but there's no growth here and there's no movement and there's no hope of this 
you know, there's no hope of expansion here. And all they see is that if I stay here, it's going to be five swords type situation. There's more disappointment. There's more dealing with the devil energies where person A is sort of stuck and they're having to release this. So I do feel like person B is wanting to release themselves from feeling stuck in order for them to expand because there is no hope here for a future attainment of something that is expandable. But I do feel like person B has still been hanging around here. I do feel it, despite there not being any growth. I feel like they haven't completely given up on person A. That's coming through, although they are disappointed and they are sad and they're looking back on this connection as something that's is disappointing. They've lost hope in it becoming something more, but I feel like they're still sort of involved here. But I do feel they're not either as... I don't know, like stuck in a codependent way that they might have been in the past because I do feel like this person understands that they could get out of this sort of energy if they move out of this, but they're, I don't know, for whatever reason, they're still fighting for something here that maybe they see Although I don't feel this person sees it. I feel this person's lost hope that there could be anything more. But I still feel like this person is still engaged in some way. This is how I feel. Okay, so let's see. What's the intention then for a pile number for person A? What is person A's intentions then in this connection? What is our intention? So we have three wands in reverse. And we have the seven pentacles. And we have the freaking ten swords that keeps showing up in reverse. This is like the what, third or fourth time we're seeing this ten swords. And we have eight wands in reverse. Nope, sorry, upright. Eight wands upright and the knight of cups and under the knight of cups we have the knight of swords in reverse okay what are their intentions what's under knight of swords in reverse queen of swords gemini libra aquarius I feel like this person almost feels a little bit, um, I don't know, like a pessimist here looking at what could not work, you know, and I feel like this person feels as though for whatever reason there's going to be an ending here, that it's not going to be sustainable in some way, that if they were to put in the energy, the effort and the dedication towards something that's just going to end anyway, they'd have to sort of retreat here. And so there's like this understanding about this, but I feel like this person is still wanting to, um, not surrender, but I feel like they feel, I, I don't know. Like, I feel like this person doesn't want to surrender, but I also feel like this person isn't really, it's like they know it's not going to go anywhere, so it's just going to cause pain here, and I'm going to have to, like, sort of retreat at some point in time. But I have feelings. So what is this eight wands, then? Because eight wands is all about communication, forward movement, and stepping forward here. But at the same time, I'm feeling there's a lot of hesitancy here, if i got to be completely honest. So what's with this eight wands, then? spirit king of Queens. yeah it's like this person okay i could step forward and engage but it can't commit and knowing that there is no long term here so it's like engaging but not offering anything long term so it's like participating but it's not having any progress 
yeah and it's like because they know that's there's nothing they can do here in a way here that's going to secure that there won't be an ending or that's yeah like let's see what's with this 10 swords we keep seeing in reverse it's like a, an anticipated ending the empress i feel this person really feels a lot of love here but there's a lot of trauma here when it comes to allowing themselves to give and receive love and it could have stemmed from a mother wound here and so i feel like this person feels like um they're unsure what they can give to the situation to ensure that it wouldn't end to lead to an ending two pentacles yeah back and forth this is this total energy i'm getting it's like one minute this person is feeling one way because i feel this person does have a lot of love with the knight of cups and then there's the knight of swords in reverse and is retreating so it's like back and forth i'll retreat i'll show up i have love but it's going to end anyway it's not moving anywhere I'm still going to communicate and partake, but then I can't commit. There's no long term here. It's just going to hurt me. But then I feel love. So I feel like this is the, this wishy washiness here, which is very difficult for me to read. Very, very difficult for me to read here. Okay, I apologize. So what do we have? Six cups. So this is uh, the soulmates. This is also reconciliation. This is having a soul recognition and a person place thing of the past that we are reminiscing about and so i feel like this this five cups could certainly be a thing of the past here that this person has experienced that has created some sort of anticipation of a ten swords and when i see six cups and empress sometimes it's something in the childhood you know some parental figure here that's created some sort of childhood um inner child thing that's needing to be looked at and healed but i feel like it's causing a lot of uncertainty in this person's way to decide how to commit fear of this ending looming ending that they're anticipating the star in reverse yeah like losing all hope not seeing the long term there's something about this person not seeing a long term here three wands in reverse king of pentacles in reverse the star in reverse i i do want to ask that like what why does this person think there's no future here like with the ten swords in reverse it's like there'd be an ending why does pile for person a think that there would be an ending why do they not see a future chariot cancer energy and nine of cups in reverse one more six of pentacles and the devil again capricorn and the world okay so this person they're stuck in some sort of unhealthy thing right now in their life here and in order to move forward to have success in their life they have to integrate whatever this thing is put an end to that unhealthy way of being and i feel like right now it doesn't allow them to get what it is that they want with the star in reverse and the nine of cups in reverse not getting one's wish not being emotionally fulfilled they can't emotionally fulfill themselves in this connection and give to it and so i feel like this person just is in a position right now that's bound to the devil devil ways unhealthy thing that prevents them from giving to this connection in a balanced way and so that they know that because they can't do this in a practical way they'll be emotionally unfulfilled here in a connection that isn't balanced isn't double-sided and that it won't successfully sort of ride through in a balanced way the way it should and so they'd have to put an end to whatever is devil in their life that they still haven't been able to do and it could certainly be them being in some sort of selfish energy here when i see nine cups devil and nine cups to me and uh six cups sometimes in se do we have seven cups too that would solidify it for me i don't know if we saw seven cups but thought we did but either which way for me that could be an addiction to drinking an addiction to partying you know even three cups would also um indicate someone's devil is in something sort of hedonistic with the nine of cups in reverse okay but um they know they can't give and take in a balanced way here and keep the chariot upright in order to succeed to have a successful seeing through to the end 
so they'd probably tumble the chariot and so there would be an inevitable ending so they don't see sort of a future here or how this could last something that they could commit to and i feel like this brings them an understanding of being emotionally disappointed in self if there was an inability to fulfill this in a balanced way because of this devil energy okay so let's see i know this is looking a little messy but let's see how does pile number four person uh b what are their intentions what is person b's intentions in this connection then yeah because i was getting from this person that they haven't yet fully walked away yet but it's like they don't want to fight anymore and they're just looking back at how disappointed they are and how they can't carry on no more but they're still sort of here in some sort of hopeless energy so what is their intention then so empress lots of love divine feminine energy here taurus energy the world concluding a cycle knight of wands And the 10, which is oh, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Wheel of Fortune in reverse, and what's this four pentacles? And under that, we have the Ace of Swords. What's under the Ace of Swords? Three pentacles. Oh. Person B. is accepting some sort of greater truth here that they have to let go of this connection that they haven't yet because i feel this person feels a lot of deep love here and has been giving to this connection but i feel like this person understands they need to close this out if this not moving and it's not moving and they feel like the timing is not right here because things haven't progressed things haven't moved and so i feel like this person is having to take action and I feel like this person has not yet been able to take action yet because they haven't closed the chapter here in this connection, but I feel they're working on doing this. Their intention is to close out anything going on here in this connection for them to move forward. And so I do feel like there's an energy here of still um, with these masks hanging off the back, like this looking back energy. And it's like, as long as they're you know, looking back, it, it makes it difficult for this person to move on, but there's always like a piece of them sort of looking back on this connection, you know, like despite them closing this out, it's like them sort of still looking back here on something that could have been, even if they move forward. And it's like, it couldn't happen. It couldn't move forward. Things got stuck. The timing wasn't right. Um, but but understanding a greater truth and look how sad this person is in understanding this greater truth and what they have to release so let's see why is this 10 or this 10 this uh, wheel of fortune here in reverse it's like things are hella stuck here is what i feel hang on yeah like the state of limbo this person's been in a state of limbo unable to commit and I think this person is understanding this with the sort of truth and like understanding and seeing the greater truth that, yeah, it's stuck, you know, no matter how much I want it, it's stuck. I have to move forward. I have to move on. Let's see. Why is this Knight of Wands here with the masks hanging off its back? That's what this Knight of Wands magician. Yeah, this person needs to manifest something for self. And I feel like in order to manifest something for self, they, they have to take action and move forward. But I, I do feel like there's this, um, let's see, why are the masks here? Looking back, judgment in reverse. I think this is the second time we're seeing this. It's like this person knows of a greater truth that they still haven't in, embraced yet. They're still held back, looking back. So it's like they're waiting for the other shoe to drop. Some major realization to close out a cycle some sort of karma to kick in here some sort of epiphany that will allow them to take action but i think they haven't seen it yet i think they're waiting to see this what is this judgment in reverse what are they waiting to see here queen of wands their own ability to manifest outside of this connection the queen of wands is a master manifester here 
seven pentacles yeah to to manifest what they want to put energy effort towards something that's actually going to be fruitful for them i don't think they see it yet and they're waiting to see something different something better for themselves so they can move forward and i don't think they've seen it yet so it's like they're still sort of invested here and emotionally but knowing that eventually they'll have to close this out to so that they could manifest something in the future here nine pentacles like when they're well and able to be secure and confident in their own sort of standing on their own facing whatever they need to face here in order for them to move on so let's see the energy in this connection between the two we have fog we have silver yeah, I feel like I'm reading in the fog here for this reading. Oil of vitriol. What is the energy between these two spirits? More clarity, please. Virgin's milk and sublimation. And the new pearl. Okay. So, things are unclear definitely unclear causing a lot of conflict here and potentially a lot of arguments between these two people okay and i don't feel like they've attained whatever it is here that's any potential here in this connection that they could i feel like it's been a lot of maintenance here for these two to sort of have to um continue in this dynamic but i feel like person a is getting something from person b here that is feeding their soul in some way but i i feel like there's a need to rise above the fog and this the weeds of this situation in order for things to change and but i feel like this experience is one that's caused for a very good reason because like this new pearl it's through the agitation of the sand and the oyster that causes this beautiful pearl to be produced i feel like there's an agitation here with the ten wands you know an agitation here of whatever the, this navigating this fog is and having to maintain something here for some period of time that seems very prolonged before both parties can sort of rise above this energy. And I feel like person A could certainly, with the devil, be dependent on person B filling them up with some sort of energy here that allows them to get through something very difficult here in their life with the devil. And person B is learning that they can manifest outside of this connection and that they're needing to learn their own confidence and independence aside from this so that they could move forward in their own life and not be held back or stuck back in a five swords situation that feels very burdensome to them or they feel disappointed and left out in the cold this is the lovers and it's the choice so i feel like this person b has a choice here to um to make whether they want to sort of stay in a situation here that seems to be very very unclear right now and very much uh, in at odds and in conflict because it's it's not moving forward here with this wheel of fortune stuck and um how much energy and effort it's been required here with the, this silver to um not even attain the goal i feel here it's like It's like so much energy, so much effort, so much conflict, so much fog and uncertainty here. And all we could really attain here is this mediocre at best sort of thing here, you know. And through a period of time, eventually forms what's supposed to form out of the situation, which is something beautiful. But it, I don't feel it has formed just yet. And the beautiful thing here could be how these two people could evolve on their own here through this experience or how this connection could certainly come to a beautiful pearl once we rise above what's going on here so i do feel b is sort of i don't know giving to a in some way right now you know in a karmic way here like leaving person b feeling out in the cold so i don't know how long b is going to want to give to this sort of connection here but that's what's happening you know and sometimes it takes person b to really understand that they could manifest something for themselves here um if they could see a greater truth but yeah this i'm feeling something karmic about person b having to give to the situation in a way here that seems very unfair but it's really their choice 
you know, and I keep kind of looking back here, and it even looks like this pate, or sorry, this Knight of Wands seems stationary for a fast-moving knight. Like, look how stationary this one is. It's not moving. So, I don't know. It's like uh, person B knows they need to move forward, but they're not moving. They're not closing something out here. I think they can understand this pearl, but this pearl is is organic and takes time. And it doesn't require this person to sort of have to um, suffer here. But I don't know that this person knows any other way. Tower, yeah, it's major realization. So person B is going to have to come to some sort of epiphany here that hasn't quite happened with that judgment in reverse twice and, and that tower, okay? It's like a sudden realization like, hey, I, I, I can manifest for myself. I deserve better. I can go after what it is that I want here and move forward because things are really stuck here. I don't have to keep giving to a situation here that's not progressing or has no... I don't know, like, it's very unclear here and potentially causing conflict. And person A has to resolve their fear of what if this ends and I don't see a long term here, or how it could be balanced in a way here because there's other things that this person is dealing with. So we have eight swords. Yeah, it's like a mental prison. This person is limited by their own thoughts. So things are stalled here because of person A, I feel, you know, but person B certainly could take the action in their own hands that they haven't yet done. So, wow, this has been quite the reading. Pile number four. I hope this resonated for you. If you're drawn to another pile, I will see you there. Okay, bye-bye.